So following on from my previous video on how to spot a fake Brunello Cuccinelli garment, I just wanted to do another quick video on some Gucci garments. Now it's February 2021 and if you go on to eBay at the moment there seems to be a lot of Gucci items and one thing I noticed is that they're all being sold with receipt. So all of the headlines or all of the description states comes with receipt. So that all seems legit. One thing that always should get your curiosity though with fake garments is when eBay is flooded at the same time with the same type of garment. For example, you don't see any type of jacket on there at all. And then suddenly this jacket right in front of you right now, there's a plenty of them on there, all at quite a reasonable price. Not cheap, not to make you realize straight away that they're fake, but reasonable to think that someone might let that go at a second-hand price. So this one in front of me is a fake one. This one to its right is a genuine one. They're both 2020 models. And to be fair, they've done quite well. So if you wasn't familiar with, with this garment, or you didn't have anything to compare it to, you could easily be fooled by it. So I'm just going to go through a few differences between the two for you to hopefully not get fooled and to buy a real one. Let's take a look at the one right in front of me now. So the first thing I noticed on this one is the material here. It's quite, it's very different from the original. It's got the reflective piece on there. But the first thing that I noticed on this one was the amount of G's going up the side. There is quite a few. And then what kind of gives this away for me immediately is then you've got half one. Now, Gucci wouldn't do something like that. They wouldn't just cut one off half like that. So I think I've counted about 19 on this one. If we go over to the real one, we can immediately see here the material is different. The difference between the G's are quite clear. So on the right again is the is the genuine one. On the left is the fake one. You can immediately see the difference there in quality. But again, if you don't have anything to compare it to, you might not see it so easily. And then we just follow that up, much less G's, 13 in total, and then a nice one at the end there just stitched in. So that was the first thing I noticed. The second thing is the zip. Now, it's quite good. It's got Gucci imprinted on there. And where a lot of replicas go wrong is they miss it on the back. It's got it on the back as well. So you again, you look at that and you think, yeah, that's not bad. And then you look at the label. It looks like a genuine Gucci label. It's got made in Italy underneath, as it should do. But what I what made me suspicious about this one again is immediately when you flip it over. Now the other Gucci ones that I've seen similar to this have you they're actually see through, so you can actually see the Gucci writing on the back on the back of that, and you couldn't hear. So again, that was a bit a bit strange to me. So if we look at that zip and that logo onto the genuine one here, much clearer, much bigger. And then on here, this one hasn't even got it. So you can't even flip it up. It's actually completely sewn in. So let's have a look at that made in Italy there. And then let's have a look at them comparing the two. So immediately there, you can see this, the size difference in the zips. The genuine one is virtually twice the size of it, to be honest. Then we've got the this cream white bit down coming down here we can see that that's quite nicely done compared to this one here this is just like a standard sort of track jersey sort of top here so hopefully that will help you spot a fake one compared to a real one and as I say, it's February 2021 at the moment. And if you literally go on eBay as we speak, there is an abundance of them. 
what they're also including now is saying that it comes with a receipt and what's quite clever in terms of them doing their homework is this receipt comes with it it's got the details there that's correct so it's actually got the description and then the cost is, ex is the exact amount that it's being charged for that it's going for in the UK at the moment so this is a thousand and twenty pounds in the UK and that is the price on the Gucci website or on Mr Porter it's the exact amount and they've even put in here the uh, style number from the website where they've made a mistake however is if we can open this zip up here we compare these as well so these feel quite genuine they've got that silky touch that they do but on the back here they've also then put the style number which is just literally just taken off the website. Now the style number is normally for internal reference, for cataloging, etc. You don't normally find the style number actually on the on the inside. So I think they made a, a bit of a booby there by, by, by including that. You'll also notice that the so this is actually a size small, and it and I'm normally a, a genuine size large in clothing. However, Gucci advertised this as an oversized garment and it's over. Their, their style is a bit oversized at the moment. And if I can get this zip undone with one finger, which I might not be able to do. You'll notice here that it's actually quite minimal. So they've got, this is a size medium and this doesn't fit me. The, the fake one is a size small and it fits me. And the reason being is that on the website, which I've clearly noticed, they've just taken all the information off the website to create it. It's, it's classed as oversized. So they've really oversized it. So that's a size medium. Material size there, which is the correct material, obviously again, and on the fake one, it's, it's incorrect. Um, there's a number there, but it isn't the style number that's on the website. And then you've got the, the QR or fantasy code there as well. So again, if we just move over to the, the fake one, this is kept separate. The, the, the real one was quite minimal as you can, as you, if you remember, and then here it's just all the information on there with the wrong information on, on the actual material here as well. And then it's got that papery feel one on there. So they've done quite a good job. And I appreciate if you wouldn't, if you don't know how to compare the two, if you don't have anything to compare it to, you could easily get fooled. As I say, the sizing is too big. This is a small and this actually fits me like a large. The real one I've got there is a medium and that doesn't fit me. So they've literally just copied all the information off the website and tried to create this replica. Another thing actually just to point out that I remember as well, is on the fake one here they've got zipped pockets with the gucci zips again and on the genuine one there is no zip now i know obviously if you go onto ebay now again there is many fake garments not just this style there are many different ones on there um and i appreciate we don't have all of the ones to to compare but hopefully some of these tips here will help you spot some of those um, fake ones on eBay or any other sort of second-hand selling websites. Um, so I hope this helps. Um, I, just one thing to point out as well is not only do they do this style as this jacket, they also do it in the trousers um, or sweatpants. And I've seen quite a lot of them at eBay as well. At reasonable pricing, about 70% off retail price. And all, again, say they come with receipts. And one thing, I, I did a quick Google search, and I have found a site based in Russia that sells replica, high-end replica garments. And in the description, it says, comes with receipt, receipt upon request. So this is where a lot of people seem to be doing now, is they're buying them from this website and others like this, and they're getting a fake receipt produced. 
at the real price to really fool people. So I hope I hope this helps. Any questions, just, just drop them in the comments and I'll see if I can help you. But yeah, here's how to spot a fake Gucci garment.